In that same period, I was busy trying to make all of us understand why, even if you don't like the revolution now, you still have to respect them. There's a, there is a reason why you have to. I spent all that time here only to see supposed man who should be smart enough throwing everything there outside the window. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to actually cut my coat according to my cloth now. Okay, not according to my size. But Cham will be our last caller tonight. Are you still there, Cham? Yeah, I'm still here. Good evening. Yes, you are. Good, Good evening. evening. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Fantastic. I'm fine, so thank you. Uh, we only have yeah. uh, just about uh, no. five, seven minutes to go. So let's. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I mean, like everyone is talking about show already, and I think um, I actually appreciate the stance that you're taking, and I feel like you know, Shore is young. He's intelligent. But I think he kind of, I, I believe he misunderstood what he is meant to do, really. Yeah. And I say this because, you know, you talked about Dele Faro to me, and Dele Faro to me is another person that I actually respect. I, I listen to his Sunday sermons. You know, he's, he's quite intelligent and he's quite on the bottom, oh, you, you know, when it comes to the issue of, yeah, on the issue of Nigeria, you know. So for him to align with someone like Obi, you know, you can't cast that aside. And I can understand where you're coming from. You had on paper, as you know, what, what could be proven is that six point something million people voted for OB, mm -hmm. right? It could be more, more than what we, we've actually what been they, told, what they right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It could be more than what they declared. And then to add to that, you have people that, you know, because of the outcome of people's government so far, right? A lot of people are, have now tuned to OB as well. Right now, you can't come and rubbish six point or seven point or eight point something million people and say that all those people are collectively stupid and you're the only smart person, right? I think that's a wrong strategy. I feel like if if he really sat down and he thought about it, he should have actually had it sit down. I don't know if um, uh, Shore has ever sat down with Obi and had a one to one with I him. Don't think so. You see? So I think that one of the things he should have done was actually sit down, just like Dele Faro to me, sit down with Obi and talk to him one to one. Somebody who, you know, like somebody, one of the callers said that, you know, Showaray is still in Nigeria and it's, it's not like he's looking for, you know, the emancipation of uh, Odudua land or Biafra or people to manage their own regions. He still believes in a one Nigeria that can work, you know with the once we remove the current political class and clean up the institutions. Yeah, see, again, I will not fault anybody for believing in something. Like I, I always say mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. if you don't have something you believe in, you will fall for everything. So that's his own belief. And I will not quarrel with him for that. He's entitled to have that belief, right? But I think that the thing that he didn't do right was to actually talk to B. And, you know, people come and say, oh, all these people are Olori Buruku, they've stolen and all of that. But before you come out and say things like that, Please have receipts. At least. Don't don't talk out. Yes, don't talk out of your ass or just don't say it because everybody is saying it. Have your receipts before you come on a platform like this and call everyone a uh, and same. everyone is a like, you know, the They're all the statement. same. Right? Well, Obi is one of them. Obi is but come on, okay. that is not totally true. But again, uh, people it, say uh, what they say even uh, when they are okay. Sham, please. Uh, well, exactly, even when they have no proof. So even if Shore believes in his heart that Obi is a part of the establishment. That is your own assumption. You do not know you have no receipts, you have nothing. What would have been in the best interest if you truly cared for this country that you talked about? It's actually sit down with this person who everybody for some reason has, is gravitating towards. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, even in diaspora, in mm -hmm. Nigeria mm -hmm. as a whole, gravitated towards Obi, right? So you have to pause and say, you know what? I don't understand this phenomenon because it's something that we can't explain. First of all, Obi is not the most eloquent politician I've ever come no, across. Really? No. You and I know this. He's not the most eloquent. He might be intelligent and he might have a lot of things, you know, that he's, he has been able to do in Anambra and he feels that he can do the same thing in Nigeria. But in terms of like presentation and things like that, he's not the most eloquent, right? So he's not, he's not an least, orator. He's not somebody who wants to mesmerize you with uh, big, big words. Mesmerize you with, um, with, with big words he's and things like that. He's a very intelligent person. I mean, but I he's don't a very think intelligent somebody who is person. intelligent will be a billionaire. I've not even become a millionaire. No, uh, no absolutely. Not. Ab absolutely. But so, so the, the thing is, is uh, you, you have to take a step back. 
It's not like this man is the most eloquent person. It's not like he's the most handsome or whatever. But there's a reason why all of these people collectively are gravitating towards this person. So maybe I need to take a step back. it's not back. because he has so much she... money to give to anybody, no. Exactly. That's one thing and, and about that one character, thing. competence, and what's the third one? Uh, uh, capability. Cre cre or capability, capability or credibility capacity. or something, right? Maybe it's actually Capa false. Capacity. Things. Capacity, rather. Maybe, yeah, exactly. Maybe they actually it's actually like five C's. You know, and everything. I know, I know. <laughs> let, me say, let me say, let me say about uh, uh, charm, just for the sake of this chat, okay? We yeah. can call it five C's, all right? Yeah. So competence, character, uh, capacity. What else again? Uh, capability. Capability. <laughs> so that should be four C's, not three. Four C's. Mm. Okay, so, you know, you see all of these millions of people gravitating towards this person. And it's not something that you can actually say, oh, this is the reason why we're gravitating towards it. He has a message. People, you know, stood behind that message and believe that message. So maybe instead of assuming that because he ran and he was somebody else's running mate, he's then therefore he's part of the establishment. No, if you have no proof that he stole anything, then you, no you, you shouldn't actually stole anything. That that. But how can we then just go about and be like, they are all the same, they are all thieves? Is it because he was not caught? I was like, oh, man. man. You know, no, you don't say things like that. So he should have, I feel like, taken a step back and said, you know what? I'm not going to win the heart of the people. And that's the truth. One of your previous scholars said it. There was no way the, all of the regions are going to vote for Shore. For Shore could have partnered with, uh, with what is his name, with Obi. Maybe not even part now, but just even at least don't rubbish the he, the people who are gravitating towards him. Don't rubbish. Like, don't you know? Me, I even my... see me, I will say say whatever you want to say about to be even what, as you are. But at least mm. do not rubbish a movement that not even Obi put them together. Obi did not put Obi together. Exactly. Obi, do, Obi did not. <laughs> you know, and that is that is the funny thing. Obi did not put. Obi did, did not call and say, and say I was starting a movement. And say, oh, I am a movement to enhance. He didn't do that. So that's what I'm saying. That sometimes so why you rubbish this back uh, and aspiration of these young people because they didn't. You know. Hmm. And you know, you kind of like rally around that. And you know, people talk about the way Nigeria is at the moment. It cannot work. It does not work. There's a lot of things that we need to do. Get rid of the current political class and ensure that they never come back into power. Them and their offspring and any other person that is allied with them should not ever smell political office, right? Yes, then you now have um, what they call it, the judicial, uh, the legislative arm. Uh, nobody who has ever, if, even if it comes to like down to the cleaner in that place, should ever retain their position or have anything to do with that role. So there's a lot of you know in-house cleaning that needs to be done. Now we cannot do it on the outside. Maybe yes, it will take something like OB not winning again in 2027. But you know me, my stance is that we can't wait till 2027. I think that whatever needs to be done needs to actually needs to be done now, right? In order to needs to happen now so that we can even ensure that we have a Nigeria that still exists, that even when we want to be there. Or that we either go, you know, quietly our separate ways. Now, in terms of like, you know, regional governance and things like that, I only believe that if anybody's waiting for people like Tinubu to do that, it's not going to happen because, no. as it is right now, Nigeria works in for them. Nigeria works for their allies and people who, who you know, who they affiliated with. And and now who, their partners, who local them. and international, and all of that. Exactly, so. their, their partners, yeah. local and international. The way. The way, the way Nigeria is, is just the way they want it to be because it profits all of them, right? So you cannot expect somebody like Tudibu to come and tell you, okay, by the way, we're going to restructure. No, he's not going to do that. It's when you are able to move and put somebody in like, uh, what's his name? Then Shore can come with revolution now. This is what we want. We want to restructure this country because it doesn't work. Is that him or somebody else? Because again, somebody made a point that he's like, he believes in one Nigeria. I personally don't believe in one Nigeria. I believe that Regions should separate and you know govern their own spaces, right? And then contribute to the center, right. you know, as an agreed, you know, whatever. As the most or the right. least of it all, let's have uh, somebody I said a confederation, a regional system, or whatever it is uh, we want to call it, but not this one. Yeah, not this one. But not this one, absolutely. So anyway, so, like I said, I really like I like the stance that he's taking, and I think it's an honorable stance. You're saying, you know what, this this person doesn't really align with what we're trying to do here. So you know, the, no they say the enemy of my enemy is my yeah. friend, yeah. right? So even so. if you don't like Obi, but he's the enemy of your enemy. That's right. He's the enemy of APC of and them, PDP. Some people know they get so sleep. because so of people are having sleepless nights inside the house. They are having sleep. Honestly, honestly. And you want to stop, that. No. That, the, 
no, you're the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So even if it means that we're alive with him now, just so that we can get to work, we can get the results that we want. We want a working region, yes. right? So let us align with him and see how we can, for all of us, and see how we can make that happen. Because as it is that now, if we start pissing ourselves up and saying all of these things, you know, those people just be laughing in the background and say, you know what, there's no need for us to even spare. They don't even have to lift any limb for for this guy. They will finish themselves. So yeah, Shore, have you seen Shore and Obi yet? eh? Have you seen what Shore has? (laughs) Ah, man, they are killing themselves right there now. So there's no point in wasting our time anymore. Like, how Uh, could uh, you not see that? Well, again, somebody to make the point that maybe he still feels a certain type of way. But if that's the problem, when you take your feelings over the over over a whole country uh-huh. and what a yes, whole country will need to achieve, picture. then exactly then you're not a you know, somebody they say you're not a true leader because sometimes you have to you have to take away your own feelings because you know your feelings don't count for anything here. What is important is the actualization of a region that works. Exactly. Right. So if this is a way if it is a means or a means to a way or a way to a means or something like that, well, I can't remember. An end, it doesn't really matter. Uh, sorry, it's exactly. If it's a means to an end, as long as we get there, you know, that's the most important thing. My feelings don't shouldn't be all. I'm, I'm, I'm in my feelings. No, no, that's not important right now. What is important is for for us to rally behind somebody and see how we can get traction and get these people out and then get you know start talking about referendum revolution whatever regional government everything that we only need the government that will listen try, it will begin to try them out but absolutely it's unfortunate you know? that a lot of us are actually not thinking in that line uh, when i was reading that uh, why we struck it today and i got to the part uh, where uh, a leader Unze Ogu, was uh, uh, totally being uh, misled so what will later be the the road to his uh, death eh? mm. uh, that tells me a lot about uh, the quality of the people who actually really joins you to say oh let us fight for uh, freedom let's fight for this or that at the end of the day some are actually doing it for their own personal gain and if for any reason if they realize that your move is going to affect some other bigger things they are involved in they will do everything to shut it okay and that's something that's yeah. so scary about our people when we talk about freedom. Well, it's all good. Everybody will keep uh, exactly, but and the stuff they are made of. At the right absolutely. Time. And, you know, I like that word you use. People will keep on exposing themselves. Yes, well, some people use this opportunity to, you know, put themselves out there. Yeah. They will. But I want to believe that when we get to that point, we've learned our lesson from Tinubu and every other person that came before them. I was thinking, you know, this looks like one of those people. We don't need this type of person in power. You know, and things like that. So, yeah. Charm. Well, my good, well Thank done. You. You're doing an excellent job. Continue what you're doing. I think Thank you so much. Yeah. Eh? And- you see, people have, you see, somebody called in last night and said, oh, my God, you are doing a great job, he said, right? He said, now we have uh, more people who are like outspoken, like Lady Charm. I was like, oh, that's great. Charm is, oh, wow, uh, all right. you are getting known a lot now. And there are people that will be soon be asking me, hello, my ego. Say yeah, hello, hello, and they will just be like, "Oh my God, I'm just calling in to say when when last time did you hear from Cham? I'm like, come on, I thought you wanted to contribute. <laughs> anyway, uh, Cham, they are flattering you. me. Thank you so I much. Like, you 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 are. I mean, you are what uh, we say you are, and you are who you think you are as well. All right, uh, which simply means that uh, people are noticing too. And thank you so much for all your contribution. Thank you, my you. Thank you for your so, platform. Thank, thank you. you. You have a good one, eh? So that's a lady charm there, ladies and gentlemen. My time is over short, and I'm just going to say good night. It's been a long night or a long day. Enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of the day if it's uh, during the day, and you all have a wonderful uh, evening. Good night.
Shiria jalu ki boni be o. Aye kuda ya ni ya ibi nukama. O ba she ani ma ye buma wi. Aye kuda ya ni ya ibi nukama. O si tu she re wa goni be o. Aye kuda ya ni ya ibi nukama. Aye kuda ya ni ya ibi politiko. Aye kuda ya ni ya ibi nukama. Godfather is in. Si la ro ma ye gu ma ye gu da ya ri na ibi no ba wa e bara ba le se o ke goro le nu ma ye gu da ya ri na ibi no ba wa ani ma ye gu la wa mo la wa mo do 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 ma ye gu da ya ri na ibi no ba wa. Oje lu e suraki, aye kuti de, ani e suraki, aye kuti de. Lori Facebook, aye kuti de, ani e suraki, aye kuti de. Lori YouTube, aye kuti de, ani e suraki, aye kuti de. Ba 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 de ure, aye kuma bi, ani e suraki, aye kuti de. Dijo e ba di e. Do ba ru fi o, aye ko ma bi, ani e so ra ki, aye ko ti de. Ki ko ni na ko wo je, aye ko ma bi, ani e so ra ki, aye ko ti de. Ono pa ti da ri ba, aye ko ma bi, ani e so ra ki, aye ko ti de. A sho fi ti ru fi o, aye ko ma bi, ani e so ra ki, aye ko ti de. O ko ra o lo se lu. Ajeluwesunraki. Sugar ni ba ti she yi to ye ki won she Omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ra o Ma ye bo ti de Go bo o je du e su ra ki Ma ye bo ti de Go bo o je du e su ra ki Sugar ni ba ti she yi to ye ki won she Omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ra o Wafo wo be o, ma ye gun o so pe wo o be be. Wafo wo be, ma ye gun o so pe wo o be be. Oni kan sha ti she yi do ya ki wo she, ma wa ra yi lu do be wo de be o. Aye, ma ye bo ti de, bo bo o je du e sura ki. Ma ye bo ti de. Surakhi, Hey, 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 hey,